dear children welcome to english class and we have completed the story and uh, done the vocabulary junction today we are going to discuss about the phonic junction and uh, grammar junction so in phonic junction uh, let's uh, find out uh, which sound comes today here you see read the sentences from the story they put them on and danced around in joy the word joy j o y joy joy then the word joy has o y in it o o y isn't it o y in it so read the word boil boil o b o i l boil it also have uh, has the sound oi oi sound okay but it is written differently here you see the word joy and the word boil uh, both are uh different spellings the word joy and the word boil both uh, words have different spellings but sound oi isn't it then let us see some words with uh, oi sound first the words with oi here you see o i l oil s o i l soil f o i l foil j o i l joy c o i n coin n o i s e noise in uh, in all these words the letters o and i is there and they sound oi oi that sound okay then here are words with o and y b o y boy t o y toy j o y joy c o y koi e n j o y enjoy then a n n o y annoy see the words with the oi sound so this is the phonic junction and boil means what we boil the water then joy means happiness then fill in the blanks with the words having o i or o y to complete the sentence here you have to there are some blank spaces you have to fill these spaces with the o words with the o i or o y the dash is playing with his dash the who will be playing with uh, something boy isn't it b o y boy is playing with his toy then please dash an egg for me we used to say please boil an egg for me isn't it b o i l boil an egg for me draw the diagrams using pencil with a sharp point p o i n t the question is you have to write some words with the o i and o y and fill up then you need good dash soil to uh, actually this is no need you need good soil s o i l soil to grow a plant you need good dash to grow a plant that means you need good soil to grow a plant so these are some of the words with the o i and o y uh, and completed the sentence then next is grammar junction grammar junction here you see first let us read some sentences from the story and uh, uh, let's do the grammar i am tired soon he was tired the stitches are so beautiful and tiny they had warm soup with bread that night we have to find out who is doing this they were the size of the shoemaker's little finger and here you see the words in these sentences uh, the words am was are had have where these all are action words or verb in the previous chapter we studied verbs or action words in present tense and here you see i am he was stitches are they had we have they were so the words with the red colored letters these are verbs or action words so the these were link the naming part and telling part of the sentences so why we use these verbs to link the naming part and telling part of a sentence to connect 
the naming part and telling part of a sentence and uh, in other two verbs are is and has is and has are also two verbs which helps to link the naming uh, part with the telling part then examples uh, we can also use those verbs to ask questions am i a student am i uh, come so like that is raju's mother a lawyer here you see the word is or the verb is is used to ask question is raju's mother a lawyer we can say raju's mother is a lawyer then the question we can ask is raju's mother a lawyer then i am 7 years old how old are you i am 7 years old am um, so i is the naming part and the word am um, connect to the telling part isn't it then are the children in school the verb are is used to ask question then i was in shimla last summer it connects the naming part and the telling part they were at the market at eight o'clock so the word where is used to connect to the name nouns or the naming part and the telling part then i have a new pencil how is also used to connect or the linked naming part and telling part then sunil had high fever last night so verbs are used to link the naming part and the telling part of a uh, sentence or it is used to uh, ask questions then here are some examples in present tense and past tense uh, what verbs can be used in present tense singular verbs are that you have to keep in mind it is very important uh, in present tense we have studied present tense that means the things happened in the pre uh, present situation isn't it in present tense the is am um, has are the singular verbs are and how are the plural verbs this you have to keep in mind is am has these are the singular verbs are and have are the plural verbs then the in past tense past tense means things that already happened so in that time the, as a singular verbs you can use was and had then as a plural we can use where and had had we can use in both the uh, uh, singular form and in plural form then the pronoun i always takes am um, was have or had so when we use the pronoun i when we use the pronoun i that time we always use these verbs we cannot say i are or i is or i has like that we do not say we always say i am i am i was i have i had like that only we say okay so the we along with the pronoun i we use these verbs am was have or had then along with the pronoun you have to use the these words are you are you were you have you had this also have to keep in mind it is very important it is important please study okay it is important study along with the singular with the singular these verbs and with the plural these verbs if uh, if it is a singular if it is in a present tense is am um, has and if it is past tense was had plural are have past tense were had with the i use am um, was have or had with the you are where have or had then here circle the correct option to complete the sentence rules we already studied isn't it so now you have to choose the correct verbs okay what dash the carpenters doing at your house here you see carpenters it is a plural noun so of course if it is plural we have to use are isn't it what are the carpenters doing at your house then mother bought two pairs of jeans because they dash very good see two pairs of jeans it is singular or plural two pairs of jeans it is plural so what we have to use is it was or where yes we have to use 
where my mother got two pairs of jeans because they were very good then again asking question using the verbs are is so here you see the uh, noun pronoun you so with the you which uh, verb we have to use yes are are you carrying an umbrella then next if you dash given a chance to meet a sports person who would you like to meet here also see you have to see the pronoun it is you so with the pronoun you we have to use the verb were if you were given a chance we never say if you was or we never say is you okay always are you or you were then next i dash or uh, reading a book i is reading or i am remember always with the pronoun i use the verb am okay this also you have to do in your textbook then again tick the correct option to show if the sentence is present or past tense the test is difficult uh, this is my favorite toy mohan was not at school yesterday the girls were unwell last week sheena has a blue dress that i like so how did uh, how do we find out is it present or past tense so that time you have to remember these words okay if it is present tense in that sentence uh, is am um, has are or have these words will be there if it is past tense uh, was had were or had these words will be there so so with that rule you have to find out the given uh, questions are in sentences are in present tense or past tense then this is the homework for you you have to do exercise 1 and 2 at page number 168 and 169 so this is the homework for you today's class is over thank you